whoops, natural gas, pasture, tree well. Episode 43! Yeah, nothing cool about 43, mm. except for this episode. Right. We're, I mean, we're on 43, right? I think so. One of those weird, I'm like, I don't, am it's I in the right spot? 43 doesn't matter. Remember when we talked about how you're going to be sad if the uh, Mariners lost to the Guardians in the series that was yeah, last week? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Gotcha. That's okay. Mariners are good. They're good. They're going to be totally fine. It's just, you know, if we ever meet up in the World Series. Well, that's impossible because they're both in the American League. Oh, yeah, that's League. right. If, we, if, who, ALCS. if they have to get the pennant. The last Sorry, time this happened, it. it was 1995, and, and they, they were the Indians then, and they beat us. Yes, they did. I, well, I love you. You look good today. Thanks. I'm wearing up. my both, jump, like a jumpsuit type of thing. Like I know. A, I'm waiting for you to like do a break. Can you do a little break dance move? I need cardboard, though. Oh. Do you have cardboard <laughs> that I can throw that's in the middle? That's so weird. I was just telling Pepper who at the time was not interested in anything I was saying about the uh, the Days Go By by what was the Vega Boys or whatever it was. I don't know. Days go by and still I think of you. Mm. What? I, in the I whole mean, video is the guy. Maybe you're doing a terrible job of <laughs> reenacting because I'm not getting. I feel like that was there. Hold on. I'm going to, I think it, it said Vegas Boys or Vega Boys. Days Go By. We're going to do it right now. We haven't done this in a bit. We haven't looked up a song out the gate. Venga, Venga boys, Venga boys. In the the video is of a dude that keeps showing up to the same spot every single day in front of a. Am I in the fucking right band anymore? No. God damn it! Hold on. Jesus Christ! What a <sighs> days go by. Kind of Mickey Mouse operation music video here. where he he goes back to the same like place every single. Oh, Dirty Vegas. That makes more sense. Mm. Is that it? That's got to be it. Come on. Come on. Don't don't put it. Just play it. Loading up, you guys. I know some of you are, are angry. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. You're going to know this song. There's no way you don't know this song. We'll see. That intro, though. How about we get to the meat? All right, I'll get to the meat. Yeah, is this the right song? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So far. Come on. Okay. Oh. That sounds familiar. Okay, the music sounds familiar. <laughs> Hold on, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Is this a remix? This is not the original version. This is gotta be a remix. Dude, this is depressing. <laughs> that sounds familiar, yeah. So, the entire video <laughs> fucking is of a guy that shows up to the same spot when his wife died and he dances to try and bring her back every year. No matter what he's doing, goes back and puts his cardboard out and break dances in front of this restaurant. He put he uses cardboard? Mm -hmm. That's great. Know, God, what a fucking... Dude, we did that in high school. Yikes. Uh, there was like ASB elections mm -hmm. going on mm -hmm. and uh, I forget, one of our friends was, was running for something mm. and... Right in the middle of his thing, our whole thing, we came out and like, one of my buddies had like the 76ers. Get up! Get like up! Like a warm up, mm -hmm. white suit, gold chains. Mm. And we came out, we brought out cardboard, <laughs> threw it on the ground, and just did the worst <laughs> break dancing you've ever seen. Just flapped around to jock jams? It, it was basically, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let Y'all ready for this? Do, 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 do. And just skipping out with yeah. your cardboard it box. It was so bad. Dude, I was doing the whole like, <laughs> I bet you were. Doing all the, all the moves. Did you have fingerless leather gloves? I didn't. That no. would have helped. Would have changed everything. Uh, quick update before we get into the show today. Actually, a couple of them. But last week, we were talking about this particular thing, and then our son Dylan sent this in. You ready? Mm -hmm. He says, what's up, fuckers? Oh, I, that's, think that's a pretty, a theme? A theme. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's just like, hey, fuck you guys. <laughs> One of your Nebraska sons writing in here, I heard the comment you said at the beginning of the show about how farmers never go on big vacations, and I just wanted to let you know that you are wrong! <laughs> One of our family friends owns a farm in western Nebraska, and every year he and his wife take a month-long trip to Cancun, mm. Mexico to get away from the bleak Midwestern winters. Apparently, the corn business is doing good. <laughs> Anyways, love the show. Keep on doing what you're doing. Dylan. Yeah. yeah that's fun. Yeah, you probably won't want to do that now in Cancun. There's, like, mm, there's a bunch of warnings. Yeah, there's people dying all over the place. Bring some corn. 
Um, well, we were uh, wrong, I guess. Yeah. I mean, obviously, some people do, but <laughs> right. it's just I haven't met one. Yeah, there's been a couple emails of uh, of of people meeting farmers while on vacation. So I guess you know, bite bite my tongue. And then before we get into the question to start up the show, this was something that just carries on from a theme that we've addressed throughout. Can you don't with radio sweepers mm-hmm. and how funny they are? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like you're now listening to the best best place. <laughs> 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 the big ninety nine 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 the hawk the the hawk 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 hawk. <laughs> so I, this happened on um on Octane Radio. Okay, just a couple days ago. Octane is like metal. Octane right? is hard yeah, rock, rock hard, like active rock. It's on you know satellite Sirius XM. Yeah, I'm used to listening. To that. I mean, usually pretty good, pretty good station. It's yeah. fine. I mean. Some of the new stuff rolls up and you're like, are you guys just copying the other people that did this last week? But anyway, so I'm listening and I'm driving home with the kids and uh, this sweeper comes on. Mm-hmm. You know, if you don't know what a sweeper, it's what we just did. It's in between songs. It tells you what station you're listening to and how fucking cool it is that you're there. The hardest rock right. in the <laughs> fucking world. Right. Or like promos the morning show. Okay, that's a yeah. sweeper. Okay. So I'm listening to Octane. And this thing comes on, and it is just, it is going. Legendary. Right. It's like, you are now listening to the most baddest rock station in the world. Giant, put your hands up. <laughs> Playing only the newest rock across the nation. And it's like, it's like, octane. And then it goes, Look at his photograph. <laughs> <laughs> I almost died, dude. Only the newest and hardest rock. Yeah. The fucking most ripping. <laughs> right. You're the gonna newest. Blow, your head's gonna fucking explode. Look at this photograph. <laughs> you see that little cor- like yeah. acoustic. Ding, ding, ding. Look at this, and I'm just like, fucking no Every way. Every time I do it, makes me laugh. I had to pull off the road. I almost died. That's hilarious. I was laughing really, really hard. Like you're, you're thinking you're in the moment. You're like, dude, what are they gonna play? What is oh coming my up? God, there's some shit I've never heard. <laughs> it's it's just gonna come out of the gate hard. What the hell is on Joey's head? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> All right, okay, you ready to get into it? It is a good song, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is. Yeah. Look at okay. I'm gonna have a hard time not doing that for the rest Look of the show. This photograph. <laughs> How do it make me laugh? Every time he me laugh, what the hell is on Joey's head? It's okay. Are you ready? She's the first <laughs> yep. girl I kissed. Uh, What's the nervous that I nearly missed? missed. <laughs> Something back then. What the hell is on Joey? <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Dude, Joey needs to get his shit together. Yeah, yep. just get that shit off your head. Hey, shut up. Start the show already. Ohio, no. every time I- <laughs> Oh, we're not doing that anymore? Uh, pants, feet, <laughs> feet, <laughs> pants, <laughs> feet, pants, pants, pants. Uh, okay, so here's a question. I'm very excited about this one. If you had to get a QR code tattooed, you know, either above your genitals, mm. so peen, vagine, okay, or on your butt cheek, okay. What would that QR code link to when people scanned it? Oh no! <laughs> like where? Where would it, would it bring you? To, them? Like a, usually it's a menu. Yeah, or like a beer list. It's like mm. here's our here's our active taps. Yeah. But in this case, if you had to get a QR code, what would you have it link out to? Well, playing off the menu thing, mm-hmm. that would be kind of funny. Like you scan it, and it says like it says like here's the menu like mm. fucked hard. Fuck slow. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what you like? Yeah. It's like, like a little thing. It's like a little little rope play, but not too much. Mm-hmm. Gives you a little like a Just little a rundown. Little mm-hmm. Yeah. Or sends you to like a like a what a survey monkey. <laughs> survey. <laughs> you gotta fill something out about your performance after yeah. you have oh, sex. Yeah. It's a like, rating oh, system. Head, dude, can you imagine fucking somebody? And like, you're like, does that feel good? You're like, oh, it feels amazing. Would you mind taking a quick survey? <laughs> 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 After, stay tuned yeah after this after this it, it, means, it means a lot to us would you mind taking a quick survey and you're like what you're like, like yeah sure i don't fuck yeah I, whatever you want okay great and then just back to having sex again but there's so many things you want to know what the first thing that came to my head yes okay so it's not on my butt it's a qr code right above my penis okay all right and it links you to a digital guest book 
mm. okay, where you can you can sign in and you can date and you can leave a review. Write a little. Leave right. a review. <laughs> <laughs> If I could leave zero stars, I would. <laughs> like, there's so many. And you just, like, you know, scan in before you, before, it's like, hey, before you do anything you don't want to do. And you just pull your pants down just enough to show the QR code. You're like, you know, take a peek. A consent, uh, like a, <laughs> right. it's consensual. Like a little form. But like, no, it's like, it's like, just take a peek at the reviews. And you just, you yeah. know, pull your pants down. Like, okay, okay. And she's, she's thumbing through. She's it. looking through the one stars. And you're stars. naked, <laughs> just standing there, <laughs> hoping for the best. <laughs> Just waiting. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. Or like you scan it. And what if you didn't <laughs> like, okay, we're having sex with a lady mm-hmm. and you know, naked and she's got the QR code of, uh, above the vagina. Right. Okay. And you, you sc- beep, you scan it. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is your pussy, Kevin. And she goes, God damn, I forgot to update it. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's going to be the wrong name. Who, who the fuck is Kevin? He goes, I'm sorry. 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 Hold on. Let me turn over. <laughs> and, it's like, now she, oh and you scan. It's like, beep. It's like, happy anniversary, Kevin. <laughs> you know, I do. I always do anal on, on our anniversary. <laughs> She's like, fuck. I thought I upped you. Like, I don't need listen. I'm just going to go. <laughs> like, I can't. I, there's she, no way we're working through this one. She didn't do the uh, mm-hmm. the update <laughs> right. overnight. It wasn't plugged in. She thought she did. In. She just yeah. didn't write. Didn't do it right. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, do you mind if I go in the bathroom and freshen up? And all she's doing is updating her QR code. <laughs> she's like, fuck, what was his name again? <laughs> mm. she, uh, she's like, I know it's either I know it's either Joe or Joel. So she just puts both in. Mm. This is your pussy, Joe slash Joel. Like it's like a different voice. Now it sounds like a. Oh, it's so funny. Well, imagine if it was like a like a three way mm. or something. So you, you have to log in. Yeah, <laughs> you've got to put in your like your credentials. <laughs> yeah. Like you log in every time, and and then oh maybe well, that's what it was. Yeah, uh, Kevin didn't log out. <laughs> I forgot to log out. Yeah, <laughs> they're sharing an account. Yeah. yeah. So he he was still <laughs> logged in. Didn't clear his uh, didn't clear his sign in credentials. <laughs> right, uh, and, dude. The, okay, so imagine the situation. It's a it's a one night stand. You've you've just done. I've you know, got into things, got heavy, fast, sexy, sweaty, and, and wonderful sex. And you are walking this lady to the front door. She's like she can't. She has to work early, so you walk her mm, to the front door. What a gentleman. Like, yeah, you're like oh, you know, had a great night. She's like me too. You know, I can't wait to see you again. Like you too. Like one more kiss, and you open the door, and she's walking away, and you go, wait, hold on a second. She goes, what? And she turns around and you pull your pants down a little bit. And she goes, I forgot. He goes, I, I forgot to have you sc- uh, scan this QR code. <laughs> She's like, okay. And she scans it. <laughs> he said, beep, beep. And he goes, okay. G- enter promo code whoops at checkout <laughs> and get 20% off the plan B at oh your local God. Walgreens. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> and she's, she's like, what? You're like you're oh. welcome. He's like, oh, I, I, uh, I forgot. Oh my I god, I forgot to pull out. I almost forgot. Scan this really quick. <laughs> enter, like, enter promo code Brian at checkout, right? <laughs> to save thirty cents at Taco Bell, or like whatever the fuck the promo is. <laughs> and she's like, oh my god, thank you so much. And then she texts you later. She goes, it's not working. And you're like, no, it's Brian with a Y. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's got to be all caps. <laughs> Are you using all caps? Yeah. <laughs> Like all the marketing shit you could have, like anything Napa, wow. <laughs> like, like you scan your like scan your butt and it just saves you like thirty bucks off your next car battery. <laughs> like you're like, what the fuck is happening? Dude, if <laughs> uh, I, I visualize like the um ah fuck, what was I gonna say? What the 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 promo code? Yeah, but you're fuck. <laughs> ah, I forgot what I was gonna say. Entering it wrong, not all caps. Oh, uh, okay, lowercase. No, it oh, was no. no It'll come, oh. it'll come back. Come on. Keep, <laughs> keep talking? Yeah, keep okay. talking. I, <laughs> Fuck! And then, you know, having sex, and <laughs> right beforehand, you're like, hey, baby. She's like, well, you'll scan this real quick. And she scans it, and it just opens up a trailer. It's about how hard she's about to get plowed. <laughs> <laughs> this summer. <laughs> right now. <laughs> 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 You're uh, about uh, to. Uh, <laughs> it's all these voices being like, yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> fuck. I'm fucking you. You're about to get fucked <laughs> by Joe Paisley. 
and it's like bam, bam, da, da. And it's just like a WWE entrance song. John Cena's like, <laughs> bam, bam, bam. <laughs> she just looks over and you're like, yeah, you know, I, you know what? you're laying in bed and she's like, she's watching on her phone <laughs> yeah. and she looks up and you're just kind of giving her the yeah. Are you like, I you do, like that? I got that off Fiverr, <laughs> like Fiverr. whatever outsourced website. Cost me 10 bucks. <laughs> Works like a charm. Or like back to the dating app, you scan it and it just like brings up a list of your meds. <laughs> like just so, so they that's know. what I was gonna say. Like okay. your do- your medical. Well, oh okay. This is a different thing, but a medical history. Mm-hmm. So like, let's go back to the one night stand thing. Mm-hmm. She he's like, uh, she's like, do you have a condom? He's like, mm-hmm. I don't. She's like, okay, well. Uh, let me check. <laughs> so she scans his QR mm-hmm. code. It takes him to like his my chart. <laughs> sure. And he's mm-hmm, like, okay, mm-hmm. last time you got checked here, man. Okay. And he basically go through the whole thing mm-hmm. to make sure that he's clear of any, <laughs> right. like, AIDS or <laughs> right. STDs or something. This isn't funny at all, but if, since you said that, I have to bring it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe? Uh, yeah, fine. S- scan the code. But after sex. And then, like, this shitty mm-hmm. gif of, like, a, like a, like a happy balloon. He's like, mm-hmm. You just like, got AIDS. It's like, you've got AIDS. <laughs> but it's in, like, the, the Yahoo. You've got mail. the AOL thing. Yeah. It's like, you've got AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> and then, bang, like, the old Windows 95 startup noise. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> How terrible oh would that be? Oh, my God. Oh, man. There's so many things. I mean. I love the, 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 the coupon thing. Oh, mm-hmm. I, I remember what I was going to say now. Hey. So. <clears throat> Going back to the whoops thing. Mm. So when you put in that code, mm. it sends like a thing to to a pharmacy <laughs> and it's like, it's delivered to you like uh, uh, do DoorDash nothing. or okay. something. Uh-huh. So like, and then some guy shows up and brings you. Just drops thing. it off. Yeah. He goes, you don't have to worry about anything. Go, mm-hmm. just go home. Um, like a little, you, you scan it and uh, like a dozen roses mm-hmm. get delivered like, you know, to your with location. A, with a, a note that says B whoops. Card. <laughs> yeah. A note that says, <laughs> says I'm so sorry. Uh, five seconds. It, p- probably the best five seconds. Am I right? Mm. You have the same little... Am I right? <laughs> am I right? Hey! But there's so many options. Yeah, it's it's not even all sexual. No, you could sell like, your whole body to like, promo codes. Um, oh my God, I just thought of one. I mean, you could put one... Well, no, I was gonna, it's got to be above your... I was going to say put one on your forehead. Well, sure. What would it be? I don't know. Just anything. <laughs> better, like, better help? It could be... <laughs> Well, 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 see, now we could take a whole different angle here. Like everything is advertising. Yeah. It's like your, your QR code mm-hmm, here. Mm-hmm. So you're walking around town looking for it. This is prime space right here. Got. And so someone, <laughs> Hey, what, you know, you, they ask you about your, ask me about my forehead or whatever. <laughs> right. Scan my forehead. Yeah. And then it's like, uh, it sends him to, yeah, like a dick pic or a dick, <laughs> not, not a dick Whoa! pic, a dick pill or something oh, oh, yeah. like that. Like above your dick and it's yeah. like the hymns or Viagra. Yeah. See, this is market. This is just marketing now, baby. But man, I thought about that for so long. I, I would definitely, it would be 100% funny for me. Like it's going to be funny. There's no way I'm going to be like a serious thing. Like on, you know, like a tramp stamp. Like it says like, do you really love me? Like you scan, it just brings up this like, do you really love me? Like a little animation video. And you're like, I don't know. Or like some sort of, oh my God. Okay. Last thing. And then we can move on. But I can't not say this. All right. Uh, the QR code above a vagina. Okay. Okay. So you, you scan it and it it's opens. Before or after? Uh, before. Okay. She's like, she goes, hey, you want to scan this thing? Like, yeah, yeah. And you scan it and it brings up a digital slot machine. Oh my God. <laughs> And if you were a prostitute, like it, it's like it's like a discount thing. You're, you're about to find out how much you're about to pay. Uh, but she's like, "Go ahead, pull the handle." And you're like, "All right." But you pull it, and then depending on what you get mm-hmm. is what sex you're like right. about to have. Mm-hmm. You're like, "I got three cherries." She goes, "Hand job." <laughs> three, like, che- Fuck! three cherries. God damn it! <laughs> you get nothing. She's like, "Ooh, boop 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 boop." boop, boop. Get out. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> but if a guy had that, can you imagine him using that at a bar? <laughs> Dude, like, hear me out. Hear me out. You're walking up to this chick, hey? And you're like, hey, baby. She goes, hey, awesome, you guys man. having a good night? Yeah? And, she, and you're like, want a chance to win $500? <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do... <laughs> 
<laughs> does he whip his? <laughs> it does. I don't know. I didn't get that far. Well, so I guess hey. you, you don't have to whip your. So all you got to do is pull yeah. it down just enough just to enough. show the QR code. Right. So you're sitting at the bar. She does it. <laughs> and mm. what are the options? <laughs> I mean, it goes on and on and on. I was thinking you just don't show them until, you know, later. Because that's like your pickup line. <laughs> what? Uh, Group of girls? Like, oh, God, what are we celebrating tonight? Mm, now you guys are looking like you're having some fun. Yeah. Ah, let me know if you want to save 20%, 20% on 20% hotels.com off. tonight. They're like, what? You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if there's a bunch of drunk girls, they uh, would definitely do that. You're though. like, yeah, I just got to pull the handle. You get it. Mm. It's a peen. Uh, oh, funny. So they actually have to pull the penis. <laughs> sure. Well, I mean, I'm, it's, there's no rules. Limp penis. Keep, pulling, keep, keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. It's not, not pulling working. hard enough. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be hard or else it doesn't like move the mechanism. They're like, oh, I get it. Suck the handle. That'd be kind of funny if you did. Oh, I got it. Mm. <clears throat> so it's uh, it's using augmented reality. Mm, funny. So you have your phone. <laughs> you scan the QR code. Mm-hmm. It pulls up, you know, an AR. So now, where when they put the the phone, the camera over the top of your dick, it you does it. turn it into a oh, slot machine. Okay. So they're actually pulling on what it looks like to be a machine, this but is, it's really your dick. This is the future. Yeah. This is the future I want to be so in. So they're, they're I want pulling more. the thing, making money, and having fun. <laughs> Woo, look at what we just won. And you're like, oh. <laughs> you're oh, my getting, God. The slot machine is wet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. You're getting a full-on hand job, and all the girls. Just think they're winning money. They think they're winning money. And when they, they are. Yeah, exactly. You're you're paying mm-hmm. whatever they win. <laughs> right. Absolutely. <laughs> or like they scan it, and it sends so them on, like, a, on like, jackpot. A, like a fucking scavenger hunt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like after sex, like, hey, want, like want to have fun tonight? And like, yeah. You like scan this, and it's like gives you riddles. <laughs> like this is not what I had in mind. <laughs> you just walk away. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. There's a nice block. What? <laughs> what? Uh, okay, ready? Yep. Hey. Hey, what's up, babe? What are you thinking about? Ah, uh, you know nothing. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about a lot of shit. What are you thinking about? What the hell is on Joey's head? Hey, it's a QR code. <laughs> yeah, you scan it. You're like, no, before before anything, you scan this thing. You scan it, just look at this photograph. <laughs> Every time. I- it's the new Nickelback album. <laughs> right. New release. Mm-hmm. It's your, your it's pumping new your, new, single. your new yeah. mixtape, your own new mixtape. Like, check this Dude, out. Dude, do you like, like hip hop, bro? <laughs> uh, yeah, check, <laughs> check scan the, this. Scan my dick. And then so the music's playing. He's like, yeah. he's in the background like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 you like that? <laughs> I mean, it's no secret. I know last week I talked about watching TV, but it happened again, Brian. <clears throat> it happened again. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> watching some TV. Okay. And... The um at, like at least, cable TV? No, I mean the same thing, the YouTube TV. So oh, right, whatever yeah. it's like sport, baseball, basketball, whatever it is. And right now there's this like heavy St. Jude Children's Hospital campaign that's taking place. Okay. Which I mean, amazing organization. Like just saving kids' <sighs> lives. This is you families. Know, you know what this sounds like is what? one's like, you know, you know, you know Jessica, you know, like yeah. I love Jessica. She's, She's always been great. a delight. She's mm-hmm. great. And then I, but I feel a butt coming on. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I'll show a butt. you come on a butt. You get it. Mm. So amazing organization. Sure. I mean, what? A, how could you go they wrong? They do amazing work. Amazing work across the entire country and, and beyond. But but there it is. <laughs> there it is. I knew there was going to be a butt. But as I was watching the commercial this last time, and they got a whole. It's a barrage right now. There's a ton. Okay. And I'm watching it, and I can't. And I'm like, oh my god. To be the talent agency or the talent scout, and just to, just so I'm clear, okay, St. Jude, they what? do what? Just for well, ca- for people, they don't make so no family has any bills. So whatever is going on with your kid, okay, they will fix it 100 percent free. Like does it cancers or uh, uh, yeah, I mean cancers and uh, like mental disabilities, physical okay. disabilities, all of st- all of that they're going to do their absolute mm-hmm. best. Okay, want to make sure that we're yeah. everyone knows what we're What's talking saying, about. Okay, gotcha. Okay. That make that's good. And uh, yeah, the commercials and right now this barrage like it has all these commercials have people that have been through St. Jude f- to 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 talk about what the company does and to you know ask for donations. Totally fine. But what I can't stop thinking about is the talent agency or the talent scout <laughs> that's in charge of making these commercials. And this, this, this guy has to go out and find like the perfect disabled kid, like just the right amount of disabled. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I mean, I picture him being like an asshole, but also he's just doing his job. Like maybe he hates it. He's like, hey, you know, uh, hey, Kevin. Like, yeah, he goes, guess what you got? The- God damn it. Like he's so mad, but he keeps on doing such a good job. He keeps getting assigned to do these commercials, right? But so his job is to find kids that can obviously represent the hospital in the best way. But then also like the commercial is going to be successful. So there's a, like a balance in there. It's like, like high charisma, but like doesn't have legs, so, right? It's like cleft lip, but in a cute way. Like they have to, oh in this, God. in somebody's making these decisions. So yeah, like, because it's a gotta, conscious thing. You have to, you I gotta, know. God damn it. You, yeah, because <laughs> when you're just, now you're just the marketing team, right? Like, yeah, you're just doing your job. You're just doing your job. Mm-hmm. So it's like. How can we sell little Billy the better, to the audience? The better you do, the more money w- one of the best organizations in the country is going to do. And so you are finding this you balance. Gotta have, Billy's got to have, he's got to be able to talk to the camera. Right. Just, en- just, <laughs> just enough, enough. To, to sell it to you, but also seem... Seem like he went to St. Jude Children Hospital. Right? So there's this like weird balance oh between God. the two. <laughs> and then it goes a little bit further where... It's same talent scout and he's holding auditions. Okay. And thinking about all the kids that wanted to be in the commercial. And then this asshole has to tell them they didn't make has it to be like, Nope, you don't, you don't have what I'm looking for. And they're like, well, look at me. And he goes, that's not the point. It's not enough. He's like, it's going to be this perfect <clears throat> balance of disabled. Like, what a weird job that has to be. So you you <laughs> made it, you me. said asshole, like. Well, I mean, he's judging disabled know, kids so for like, a job. You, like, oh, that'd be tough because, like, do you want to be an asshole? Or do you want to, because, like, you, I, I wouldn't want to go in there with my, like, empathetic brain. Mm-hmm. I have to tell these kids that they didn't make it. Mm-hmm. And how do you say it? Like you're not <laughs> disabled enough, <laughs> or or you're too or you're disabled? too disabled. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> Thanks for coming like out. Im- you're not you're not disabled enough. Imagine <laughs> the effort that it took that kid to get there to get there, and then the only to not yeah get the job. Yeah, to not be disabled enough. Like or too that whole, or too disabled. That's such a weird situation to be in. Like that talent scout woke up that morning. Right? His alarm went off and he's like, I'm going to disappoint a lot of kids today. <sighs> you know, his, his, same thing. Blankets go off. He turns. His feet hit the floor. He's he brushing his, his legs on. Or puts his feet <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Puts his legs on one at a time just like the rest of us. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Okay. So he's got a dress. He's got dressed. He's brushing his teeth. He's looking in the mirror. And he's like, "You're not a bad guy." Like, he has, he's like pep talking himself. <laughs> he's like, "You're just doing your job." Like he has kids. He has a family that depends mm. on him to judge other disabled kids to make a commercial that's going to be successful. What a weird place to be in. And somebody had that job. Like at this audition thing, like the guys, the, his kid sits down, and. Uh, and the, the, the guy's like, oh my God. He goes, you fucking amazing. You nailed it. This is going to be great. What I'm going to need you to do is stand up and just walk in a straight line away from me. Right. And the kid's like, yeah, no problem. Stands up and starts walking. And the talent scout like fucking throws his clipboard. <laughs> and he goes, you walk too well. You just walk too damn well. It's like, God, fucking thought like, we had it. I can't sell that. <laughs> it's like, I can't, what am I going to do with this? And he's like, I'm sorry. He goes, next. God, it's just such a weird situation. <sighs> And the commercials are, I mean, they're great. They're ama- but I couldn't help but think about that with my video and audio background. I just don't, looking at it and be like, someone was in that position. And then the kids trying out. Yeah. Where they're just like, why am I going to try out? Billy's just going to win. Billy wins. Billy all, wins every year. He gets year. all the commercials. Have you seen them? You got to have to take Billy out. Yeah. You got to take Billy out. Someone's going to have to Nancy. Or, yeah. What was the chick that's the right that, one. Nancy Kerrigan. Yeah, who was the, what was her <laughs> name? Did. The the, uh, the chick that hired the dude. Oh, Tanya man. Harding. Tanya, that's right. Right? Go in there and swing. Yeah, take him down. But like, yeah, the problem is like, if the legs already don't work, that doesn't work. What does that say? Like, if if you're perfect for that role? I mean, that's a huge opportunity. It's a great opportunity for all of them. The commercials are wonderful. They use as many 
children as they can in whatever setting they possibly can. And that is fine. That's not the point at all. The mm-hmm. point is someone had to be like, you are perfect. Yeah. And you aren't. <laughs> yeah. To, and someone had to make that judgment call. And that's so fucking crazy. What a weird and job it, that would have been. And it is. It's, it's just funny because it's like the guy's just doing his job. Mm-hmm. But what a shitty job. <laughs> Because, but also amazing job because you're raising millions for well, an organization yeah. well, that changes the world. Sure, but so, like to just be put in that position, you I know guess. He's, that's like, what he's telling himself. Yeah, that's he's in the mirror again, brushing his teeth. Like you're doing a good thing, but mm-hmm. we're gonna raise a lot of money today. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hurt some feelings. Yeah, but <laughs> that's that's just life. It's just part of the deal. It's just part of the deal. <laughs> Spits his toothpaste out. <laughs> what a mental fuck. Met, coming home from to dinner and wife's, mm-hmm. you know, asking him how'd your how'd your how'd work go today. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. I had a, <laughs> You're not going to believe found this. Found the perfect. Found him. We found, found him. We found, found him. him. We found him. Like through a walkie talkie. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Fucking terrible. At the tryouts, the ki- someone does a tryout and whatever. And the guy just grabs his walkie talkie and goes, we got him. We got him. Send everyone <laughs> we got else him. Guys home. found him. Beep, beep. Like, <laughs> we got him. We got him. But what? I mean, just hate it. I just couldn't help but think about that. It, so there I we go. just visualize this, you know, like the, any sort of a movie. When they're when they're trying to find and it's that reaction like mm-hmm. they're watching somebody do it like a like almost the, like the director mm-hmm. is when when this let's say it's Leo DiCaprio whoever mm-hmm. or uh, uh, they're doing this it's it's fucking what's her name the the greatest female actress uh, of all time yeah Meryl Streep Meryl Streep everyone thinks she she's it's like she nails this this scene mm-hmm. and like it's the director's watching like bring him bring him to tears a little bit, yeah and he's like. Cut. Uh, Cut. Uh, we got it. We got and it. And it's like, right. oh my God. Or imagine the same situation where the director is like, okay, now get up and walk in a straight line. <laughs> right? mm-hmm. like, like that's the same. He's like, you've, he's crying. He's like, this is perfect. Yeah. Now what's your disability? Like this is, well, man, yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. And then, yeah, it's good. Yeah. I mean, so anyway, it's not about the kids, right? It's this, which is not about the kids at all. Absolutely not. It's about the person that had to pick the people for the commercial. <laughs> fucking do not envy that fella anyway want to move on uh, oh uh, no because <laughs> i just started thinking about like you know like when you when you're casting for extras you're mm-hmm. casting for like a movie or something and so they have headshots in search of yeah and so the, the way that works is they pull out a book and they're like mm-hmm. oh Flipping this through. kid would be perfect because he's got the blonde hair he looks like what we need for this thing so i imagine like <clears throat> The book mm-hmm. that they're weeding people out mm-hmm. with. Looking through. Right. What that would look like. And who's in charge of like, that? Oh, the no. first round of cuts. Like, oh, no, no. Oh, I love the wheelchair. And then like, but they're just like, wheelchair, but how's this? Mm, oh, his hair is a little. It just fucking, God, it's so bad. And someone had to do it. Mm. Like, it's not, a, this is not make-believe. This, someone did it. It happened. It's not like a what if this happened. Someone's kind of like had they, to do that. Like a political thing. They're like mm-hmm. Obama's doing a speech. Like, okay, we need we need a Mexican kid, mm-hmm. need an Asian kid, mm-hmm. need a, the right amount of white kids versus mm-hmm. black kids versus this. Bounce it out. And it's they, but they also have like disabled kids in there. Mm-hmm. Like they have to. It's so in. You know, so like that that mentality of like, okay, we need. It's like it's someone's conscious decision to do that. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't an accident that no. the kids like, they, they just, picked they just wander they're like, up. We'll take this one. We'll take that one. We'll hmm, take this. Look one. at this perfect group of diverse children. Yeah, all in the same spot. You guys come here real quick. It's like no, someone's picking it, and that's so weird. All right, let's move on. Is it dumb? Is it interesting? Is it cool? Then it's dick big. All right, Joe. Yeah, what's up, Ryan? Brevard man wields machete okay. at bar after karaoke <laughs> request denied, <laughs> deputies say. I mean, I get it, dude. I, mean, oh, I, I got a story. Let's, let's get, do the article thing. Okay. And then I'll, I'll I got, be I got quick. Yeah. Uh, Brevard man can accuse uh, pulling an 18 inch <laughs> machete <laughs> at a bar, d- being denied another karaoke song, was arrested Sunday, according okay. to sheriff's office. Uh, faces breach, a breach of peace due to disorderly conduct charged in connection with the incident, which occurred at Kennedy's Lamppost Tavern, located. Deputies responded to the bar shortly after, shortly before two, 
p.m. Mm-hmm. Not a.m. <laughs> no, this was a, a daytime Broad affair. Broad daylight mm-hmm. in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. Uh, found Jordan uh, unsteady on his feet with bloodshot and glassy <laughs> eyes, smelling strongly of alcohol and probable cause affidavit shows. Mm-hmm. So basically, <laughs> this dude didn't get the song he requested, and he had the machete on him. It was concealed on his body. Mm-hmm. Someone denied his request to sing another karaoke song. <laughs> the woman, afraid for his safety and others, co- uh, coax- coaxed? Coaxed. I was going to say coax. Coaxed the suspect into peacefully handing over the machete. <clears throat> At least he did that. Mm-hmm. That was, yeah. It could have been way worse. He's like, uh, I want, yeah. I wanted to do like, uh, <laughs> what song? I don't know. Gunfight. I don't know. There's whatever. I just fish like something peaceful. Like, oh, uh, like, uh, like he, somewhere over the rainbow. Yeah. Or imagine. Mm-hmm. And they're like, sorry, dude, you're imagine. You got to get out of here. When, so they, this goes two ways. Yeah. One, what song was he trying to sing? And then the other one was how bad was he the song before? Oh Yeah. Like, what did he, he was do? so bad. He's like, yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. He has this giant <laughs> fucking machete. <laughs> and they're like, Jesus Christ, like Jordan. He plant, he, it was a prop. <laughs> fuck, dude, save that shit for at least nighttime. <laughs> just like, I didn't think about that angle. And he's swinging from the chandelier with a machete. He's like, I got one more song. Like, no, no, we can't. <laughs> yeah. We're letting we're letting Pirates of the Caribbean slide. It was cool to watch. That's the only reason. But you gotta go. He goes, I just one more, please. <laughs> dude, I didn't even think about that angle. I just figured some drunk dude concealing a machete. But it would be funny as. If he was like fully dressed on like a pirate too, mm-hmm. and he was only singing pirate songs. <laughs> yeah. What's that one that goes around like the, uh, what are they called? It's not, they're called, called sailor tunes, but they, like, TikTok, Instagram, they have that same like little shanty, yay, that they sing in rounds over and over again. No Nothing? idea what you're talking oh, about. Okay. Well, <laughs> they're probably, pretty, I wish I did. It would have been a lot funnier. Yeah. They're probably pretty cool. Be a lot cooler if you knew what I was talking about. Oh man. Like what do you do with a drunken? Da, 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 uh, da, da, yeah. da. So those types yeah. of songs. Okay. Um, so those are all he's singing and he just has a fucking machete and, and or he's just a terrible pirate though. Mm. Like he has, I don't know, like a cowboy hat on Oh, uh, <laughs> and then an eye patch, but it's made out of napkins. So it's just like, it's all over the place. <laughs> yeah. But he's got an 18 inch fucking machete. Is that what? Oh, this costume isn't real enough for you? <laughs> Sh- <laughs> Shing. He goes, how about now, motherfucker? So uh, I said it was concealed. I wonder if he had a sheath or if it was like in his pant leg. Or in his cowboy hat? <laughs> yeah. A 10 gallon hat. <laughs> just a <the> fucking... <laughs> Can you imagine it's if a stab- cowboy hat was actually 10 gallons? <laughs> it's stabbing through the top of the hat. <laughs> He's like, is that a knife? No. <laughs> sir, uh, what do you, sir, do you have a machete on? <laughs> you have a machete no. in your hat? No. <laughs> no, I'm just here. I'm have, trying to have a good time. No, I'm pretty sure that's a machete in your hat. Is that, is that a machete in your hat? No, I just got here. <laughs> no, I just got here. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, at least got to check your ID. Okay, no Every time you sh- unsheath it, it just slices his leg open. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened. Could have been. Cut his leg open and they're like, dude, you're bleeding all over the place. Is there anything else? And then we'll move on to the next story. Have you done some karaoke? You ever you ever dive into the Oh yeah. Okay. Not recently, but yeah, I used to karaoke all the time. Okay. Couple situations. Just in general, how annoying is it when you feel like you got skipped? You're sitting there. Well, you're I'm usually nervous, it, so I'm like, uh, ugh, I like oh, been thank okay. God, I'm not going to mm. pee my pants this time. Mm-hmm. But you you see the crowd, you know the crowd that was there before there or before you know that was there when you yeah. got there and then new people show up and you know you got your song in before that yeah. but then you get bumped and it just keeps happening and you're like god damn it 45 more minutes of this before I get to be the one that everyone wishes wasn't singing right but like you're just in that weird yeah. mode and this is um I don't know it's not one of my favorite stories but it's a great story of my brother we were in Austin we're all visiting have fun and um we're at this karaoke bar it is a karaoke bar mm. which is what I love about cities mm-hmm. like there's karaoke night Oh, yeah. Around here. Mm-hmm. There's not a karaoke bar mm-hmm. where when you go there, there's karaoke every single time, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just don't get that here. Big cities, you guys have them, you're lucky. Um, and they pick theme nights and people dress up. It's a whole thing. Pirate night. Oh, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Shing. <laughs> um, he's like, oh, shit, I thought it was pirate night. <laughs> it's cowboy night. Jordan, you know Tuesdays are not pirate night. <laughs> yeah, it should be. Fucking stupid. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just go home, buddy. You know I work Wednesdays. <laughs> you know I work Wednesdays, man. I can't fucking can't bring my pirate. Co- um, 
but this it's a karaoke bar and we show up we're all having fun and we sing some songs and then a lot of people show up <laughs> and um my brother really wants to sing <laughs> like he just what song uh, i don't even remember what song it doesn't matter and he he pays the karaoke lady to move him up the list <laughs> right like there's a certain amount of money that will move you up mm, okay, okay? So he gave her whatever, a couple hundred bucks. Jesus. Doesn't matter. To go from like 45th to like top 10. <laughs> like he's just, <laughs> he's trying to get up there. That's a big jump. And he does. <laughs> and he gets there and we're watching the monitor because it has the name. It's a professional karaoke bar. And he gets like into the top five. <laughs> and then my little sister gets really sick. Oh, so no. So we have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> And then, like, you know, we were already gone. And this this karaoke DJ, she knows who paid him because mm. she had to move him up. Mm-hmm. And then his name gets to the top. And he goes, man, hey. Like, says whatever, you know. And then he does not fucking there. <laughs> <laughs> you go, one more time for him, hey. <laughs> one more time. Last call. <laughs> Last call for him, baby. <laughs> And then like, no one comes up. She's like, what the fuck? This dude just gave me $200 and we're gone. And we're fucking gone. It's, that's funny. It's so gonna, funny. Could you imagine if he was like, I'm not leaving, dude. Like, <laughs> He's like, no, you got her. It's like, we're at your house. Ha- we're staying at your house. But he goes, well, here's, here's, the, here's key. the key. Here's He's the key. Like, it's your car. Drive my car. I'll like, Uber. dude, I paid 200 bucks to get here. I'm not I, leaving. I'm singing newfound glory my friends over you okay mm-hmm. and that's what we're doing and i'm not leaving until i do it you ever re-listen to that song and remember how fucking annoying it is no oh man i didn't really listen to them yeah his voice is a bit much um okay let's move on to the next one uh this has been making the rounds on the talks as the kids call it do they call it that no. the talks the talk oh the TikTok? talk the talkies yeah wow the talkie that sounded really old oh yeah so i um i received this a couple days ago I, I forget who sent it to me originally. I think it was one of the kids, but I apologize. I, I don't know, man. There's so many messages. I, I can't keep track of everything. I did not anticipate at the time. Calm down if this is your story. Yeah, that this, this was going to make the show. Uh, but I've never thought about this particular thing with parrots. So if you look at parrots and you, I mean, everyone should know what a parrot is. Uh, they're very good at mimicking human voice. It's, do- it's a talking bird. It's a talking those bird. Of you that- but the majority of it, like they say, like, I love you. Yeah. Or, I love or, like, you. or like, a cracker. Or it's like, good job. Or they repeat whatever little phrases. Holly want a cracker? Right. And there's even birds that are like, fuck it. God! Like they swear mm. because the owner swears. That's hilarious. And those are the best videos. Yeah. I've covered stories about birds that were in a zoo that had to get moved because they kept f- insulting people that walked by. <laughs> They're like, hey, fatty. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It was an amazing story. Could you imagine like a racist parrot? Chicago. Yeah, right. So, I hate black people. So, yeah, right. You're like, eh, juice. <laughs> hey, what's up, cracker? <laughs> white people, huh? You're like, what's, what's the deal with white people? What's the deal with white people? Honk, honk. <laughs> like, oh, God, that parrot's an asshole. Uh, but I never thought mm. that you could train a parrot to be like rapey aggressive. Mm. And this is, there's a video out there. You can just look up, uh, I'm not going to hurt you, <laughs> parrot, and it'll come up. And I'm just going to play the video. Uh, you'll get the, the gist of it. Here we go. I'm right here. Come on. I'm right here. Come on. This is as close as I'm going to get, baby. And the parrot's I'm walking around. i bite my no. toes. No. <laughs> What? I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so scary. Uh-uh. I, I'm no. a little bit. You're just, you're just so strong. You're so What's strong. What's the matter? <laughs> What's no. the I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> Come here. No, no baby. What? What's wrong, darling? What's wrong, darling? I love you. I just said... No. Oh. I, I think we just need some time before we do that, okay? See that? Yeah. It's getting aggressive. What's yeah. I still think you're going to bite me. What? You know? I'm sorry. What's that? Yeah. See? <laughs> 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 and then after the attacks are here, go. Ready? You, you scared me. You what is that? Me. That was <laughs> that not bad. That wasn't bad. <laughs> Come here. I'm not going to hurt you. He's using full sentences. <laughs> But the just the whole concept, I never thought that you could teach a parrot to mm-hmm. say anything. It could just be creepy shit like that. 
Come here. That's, I'm almost, not going to hurt you. That sounds like, it sounds like, like not, he's not repeating it. It sounds like he's having a conversation. Yeah. And like, like the I'm not doing that. Yeah. No, come on. He's I'm like, not going to hurt you. Yeah. He's not saying like, I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah. He's like, I'm not going to hurt you. you. <laughs> yeah. It's like that. Yeah. It's, come yeah. He's using, uh, come on. inflections mm-hmm. in his voice and, <gasps> and f- <laughs> emphasis. <laughs> and he was like, not that bad. Gnarling. <laughs> <laughs> Gnarling. <laughs> like, was he uh, watching, like, Silence of the Lambs? Like, what the fuck was happening? Oh, yeah. He attacks her. And she's like, wait. He's like, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> wasn't that bad. <laughs> Come here. I'm not going to hurt you. That, is, that sounds like a oh, that sounds like some Chucky shit right there. It's so Like a creepy. killer parrot guy. It's so Come creepy. Come on over, baby. <laughs> and so funny. I mean, that someone had to train it. I don't know the story behind it, how if she trained it just to like do this funny thing. Yeah. Or like think about if she got adopted it. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> it needed a loving home. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, I fucking love this. This is beautiful. I've always wanted a parrot. I don't think, is it a parrot? Eh, it could be something different. I don't know. Um, Parakeet. Could be. What's it say here? No one a parrot cares. Okay, um, but if you were, you're like, oh no, I've got, I've got room for it. I'll take care of it for a little bit. Yeah, and you get in, you go, come here, I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> That's so creepy in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, like He's you put like, the little. Are you awake? <laughs> yeah, put the little thing over its head, and it's like, wait, you're not tired. I know how to keep you awake. <laughs> what? God. Come here. I'll sing you a song. <laughs> come here. I was waiting for this for a long time. You're like, what the fuck, you creepy parrot? Take your pants off. What? <laughs> right, right. Oh, you look good naked. Oh, All I right. see them titties. <laughs> yeah. Come here, I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> yeah, it fucking piqued my interest. Maybe That's laugh very really rapey. Yeah, super rapey, but. I'm not going to. Yeah, uh, like, oh, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> and he does those, um, those like, uh, I don't know, little, like emotional fillers too. Where uh-huh. she says something, he goes, oh. Yeah, <laughs> like, he's yeah, just, yeah. like he's listening. That's why it sounded like a conversation. <laughs> it didn't sound like he was repeating something. Yeah, he's, he's like, I don't, I know, I don't trust you. And he's like, oh. oh you can trust me. Right. Oh. <laughs> he's thinking about what he's about to say next. Yeah. It's not that bad. <laughs> God. I'm not good. All you. the different conversations oh, you could have man. that aren't even rapey. Yeah. Just kind of like. <laughs> What else could you say? Like, if it's not going to be like a full on conversation, <laughs> yeah. What? A- like, it's like you uh, quoting movies. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just this parrot that quotes like Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> Does the Ace entire Ventura. Declaration of Independence? Mm-hmm. You're like, sound like a good idea at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Amendment <And> one. <laughs> six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Fuck! No one cares about number nine! And time for the Bill of Rights! <laughs> right! Signed by! <laughs> like, oh my god. Uh, okay, let's move on to Never page... shall know. Yeah, exactly. And fringe, I've been fucking all night with this guy. <laughs> he just does the, uh... Yeah, uh... The Constitution. Right, right. Just this ridiculous thing. So funny. Um, okay, Or, ready? uh... You're right. Abe Lincoln's... <laughs> yeah, the Gettysburg Address. The, the, the address. Gettysburg Address. Mm-hmm. Four score! Four score! Seven <laughs> years ago! What? I'm not going to hurt you. (laughs) Silence in the court. You are now entering the Petty Beef Courtroom, where all sides of some bullshit will be heard and evaluated. The people are real. The cases are real. The rulings are final-ish. This is Petty Beef. Briefcase. Check. Leather glove. Leather glove. Fingerless glove. Check. We are heading into some warmer months. Okay. Yeah, finally. Which fucking thank the, the hex. It's uh, still snowing. Yeah, it just snowed a couple inches here not too long ago. So that was fun. Cool. Uh, god or whatever who did that. Yeah, who does the snow stuff? Who does the snow thanks stuff? Thanks a pant load, God. Uh, so this petty beef coming in from our geriatric daughter, Crystal, <laughs> who writes Christelle. Christelle. That's right. Hey guys, I desperately need a win here. Leading with that is a little concerning. Yeah. Like if you mm. <laughs> if you were in a courtroom, it's a murder case, mm. right? <laughs> and the like, you know, a lawyer comes out. He goes, he goes, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I really, need my it. boss is pissed. I, I, I could, if you want, you guys want to do me a solid. I could really use a win right now. And they're <laughs> Nothing like, sounds more guilty. <laughs> the than that. like, like anyway, he has, does he have a collection of guns? Yeah. <laughs> where they all have blood on them and they found by the body. Sure, yeah, sure they were. But hear me out. Do you want to do me a solid? If you guys, if I lose this case, I'm going to be on the streets. I'm going to be disbarred. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm going to be, I'm going to lose my license. Please. He starts crying. Anyway, good. Hey guys, I desperately need a win here. So hopefully you'll find my POV to be accurate. 
So I'm 40 years old. I love and- how she went straight to the POV like mm-hmm. it's a porn site. Mm, yes, it is. I, I instantly put on my VR goggles. Mm-hmm. So I'm 40 years old and pre-menopausal. It sounds like a like the, you could be something you could be that in the church. Don't listen to anyone who tells you menopause isn't awesome. It's a real fucking treat. Hot flashes are a regular part of my day. Anyway, when I'm trying to get ready in the morning and open our bedroom window just a little to cool the room down and to keep from sweating off my makeup and raising my blood pressure, I put a pillow over the cracks between the door and the floor to keep the cold in the room. By the way, I live in Northwest Indiana and it's December, so it's apparently cold outside. Anyway, the problem is that my fiance keeps the house at a sweltering, sweltering 978 degrees Oof. and it's fucking hot, all caps. He tells me that it costs money every time I open the window. Guys, uh-huh. there is no possible way he or anyone else will convince me that our heating bill will rise to an astronomical level if I have the window open in one closed off bedroom. No, it's not going to sweep through the house and make the heat run constantly like he thinks. Please tell me you agree. <laughs> and don't allow that overprotective ruler of a thermostat dad in you automatically take over. That, that's a fair point. No, uh, no way is one closed off room going to make the heat run over time. I will never be convinced. Is he right to be the thermocommy? Or am I in the clear? <laughs> your premenopausal, overheated daughter, Christelle. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I, that's. I, I mean, that she was right on the nail on nail on the hammer swing when she said, "Don't let that dad mode kick in," because that was what I was thinking. That is a thing. That is a thing, and it does. <clears throat> okay, and we, this is non no dispute here. And I'm sure that Crystal would agree because the verbiage she used was raising the heat bill to astronomical levels. I'm not sure what the fiance is saying. He's like, you fucking cost me 90 bucks. Mm. Okay. No, but no matter what you, whatever side you're on, that it is costing money. It is costing money. That's how heat works. Mm. So if you're letting cold ass air into the bedroom, no matter which way you slice it, it is costing money to have that window open. Doesn't matter. That's the, that, that's it. That's the, that's I'm the cold there's heart. a but coming. Uh, but when I watch these commercials about St. Jude's Hospital, no, um, <laughs> no, but there's just, there's no way. But, there's, but it doesn't raise the money that much. It's not going to be like, you, if you want to be a real passive aggressive dickhead, which I mean, sometimes that's fun. Give them three bucks. Like on mm. the first of every month. Be like, here's so I don't sweat my makeup off mm-hmm. and give him a, slide him a couple George Washingtons, mm-hmm. you know? A couple like, Benjamins. Or like, or like Venmo, send it over. It's like, what's this for? <laughs> not, not costing or uh, paying for mm-hmm. rising heat costs. Right. I'll just put my makeup on without sweating and wanting to jump out the window and just send him a little three, do- three bucks, four bucks. He seems a bit thermo Nazi. A mm-hmm. little, little too much. I like, I get it. Like, so my my issue is uh with that kind of stuff is like when if the heat's on and someone just like opens the door and leaves it open yeah and cuz they forgot then it's like dude come on mm-hmm. but she's doing it intentionally to uh to not overheat while she's getting ready and do mm-hmm. her makeup and then mm-hmm. she, when she leaves she probably shuts the windows i'm guessing <laughs> she opens them more yeah <laughs> i'm guessing she shuts them throws the clothes out of them yeah so I'm with her on this one. I think I am just too. because I honestly she's think doing I am. it intentionally, mm-hmm. and she's doing it for a reason. So she's not overheating, yeah. And then going to work and doing her thing or whatever she's doing, yeah. And then I'm assuming shutting it, so all is fine. I think if absolutely she did her right. out of just pure negligence and the extra step of put like stuffing the pillow on, yeah, she's what making is, an effort. What's the fans like? What's he mad about? Just because the room's cold. It's petty. Man, beef. It is That's, petty. It's beef. very petty. It's the whole thing. It's Laura Petty. Yeah. Remember her? No. The actress. She was in like she do some big stuff. Well, no. But she was in <laughs> In the Army Now. She was oh. in Free Willy. The, <laughs> oh, the that chick. her? Yeah, it's Laura Petty. Okay. And she was also Kit <laughs> in uh League of Their Own. But that's another story for another day. <laughs> for another day. Um <clears throat> Christelle or Cristal, you're right. I, I'm with Christelle on mm-hmm. this one. I think you're right. You're I think her husband needs to chill out a little bit. That's I know. Menopause or is a, Yeah. Or maybe they're not together anymore. This was in December. Maybe she fucking left. The window was on the third story, and husband went right out that window one morning. Mm-hmm. We don't know. We don't know how this ended. I just yeah. So just just to clarify, if she was being negligent and just not giving a shit, I'm with the husband. 
But the fact she's doing it for a reason, trying to keep the heat trapped in there, she's doing it for a reason. Yeah. I'm going with her. I'm, I'm in there. It's a double. We're on the same side today. You get week. the win, Christelle. You did it. Congratulations. Even though mm-hmm. you came out with the, the verbiage being a little persuasive. Yeah. I really need this win, guys. Yeah. What, what is, what is she, she didn't with? have to do that. She's on a losing streak. She could have she could have come in with just the, 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 facts. the facts and yeah. just the car facts. <laughs> right. Just to ask for the car facts. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah. Come on, just ask for the Carfax. Just ask for the Carfax. <laughs> oh, it's not so bad. We're both were thinking the same thing there. <laughs> All right, let's move on to a happy story. All right. I, I mean, terrifying, but. So you're telling me there's a chance. Hooray, we aren't doomed. Yeah! Coming out of another ski season, mm-hmm. for the ones that ski are bored. <laughs> Dude, have you seen the snow levels in fucking California? I have. It is terrifying. Really? Like, oh, my God. It, like down in Tahoe, oh. it is the most amount of snow that I, I didn't even know the planet could have that much snow. In the mountains? Yeah, like it's just. So their ski season could last through the summer? Yeah, like they're thinking it could be like really extended. The like best just, season ever. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. Like they have to dig. You're, you're going through canyons on the chairlifts. Like the snow is so oh, high. Oh, wow. It is nuts. Anyway, look it up if you haven't. So this video was sent in. Um, it was by a couple different people. So again, I didn't credit just one. But it's so scary if you are a skier or a boarder. There, this is in Washington. You're gonna see, yeah, it's uh, at Baker, no, right? No, Baker. Um, and you're gonna see. You can look up this video. It's just just put anything like skier, rescue, snowboarder that's that's buried, and they're going through some powder. It's nothing crazy, but if you know a skier or a snowboarder, you've heard of these things called tree wells. Okay, where the snow hits the branches of the tree, and then it creates a gigantic pocket below the tree by its by its trunk that if you go into it at the wrong way you're fucking that's it you're not getting back out it doesn't say they knew they knew each other which is even a crazier part about this video i'm going to push play and then if i feel like there's anything uh, additional details i need to bring up i will here you go that's some deep pow mm-hmm. it's good good powder day here you go he's cleaning off the lens he's gonna go back down again and it just sh- oh. so he stops right there a snowboarder came behind him. You all right? And threw on the brakes, right? Like didn't see him in the trees. And when he did, he fell backwards upside down in a tree well. And now he's upside down on his snowboard, unable to move. Oh, claustrophobia. Dude, can you imagine being in that situation? Oh, uh, this is making my body like... Like what if the skier didn't stop? Yeah. Like there, why did he stop? You normally wouldn't. So he's clicking out. He clearly doesn't know the severity of the situation. And he's going to hike up there. And then he takes a peek at it and realizes how bad this really is. So all you see right now is the snowboarder's snowboard, the bottom of it, and his boots. Right? Uh-huh. And then he's going to you know, get up there. And he realizes how bad it is and just starts digging. So right now he's trying to find the snowboarder's head. Hey. Here we go. Are you all right? Can you hear me? Finally found it. <sighs> Dude. Oh, my body's just I know. cringing right He's now. He's just digging right now, by the way, you guys. Sorry. if You you can look up the video if you're interested. But it's so much snow, and he just dug him out, and then when he did, the guy fell even further in because the snow didn't stop him. So the guy's waving his arms. He looks like he's going to die. It looks like it's just glitching, you know, like his the last, like, like muscle spasms. Mm-hmm. So here we go. I'm going to jump forward to the part where you get him out. You. Watch. You okay? Can you breathe? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. We're both going to catch our breath for a sec. I'm going to help dig you out, okay? Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Man. You're good. Oh. All right. Let's get a little more snow away from the mouth. <laughs> I love this line. But I think he says it right here. Okay. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. I'm watching. It's so scary. All right. Okay. You all right? I'm good. Okay, okay. I'm gonna back up for a second, get my shovel out, okay? Thank you. You're good, man. You good? I'm not sure if it was right there, but the the snowboarder who is stuck, all you see is his mouth and his arm and he's upside down in the powder. Like he was 100% dead if the skier didn't stop. But he goes, (laughs) the snowboarder goes, take your time. Like trying to be nice. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Just Mm -hmm. a funny thing to say. Anyway, so if you wanted something else to be scared about, there you go. That's cool, huh? Fuck. I'm, I'm still behind you a little bit here. I know. I skipped forward a little bit, but just um, uh, to be aware of your surroundings and 
I've been in that situation a bunch where someone comes up behind you and just because they throw on the brakes doesn't mean they flipped upside down. Uh -huh. So the fact that he even turned around to check if the guy was okay and then ended up saving his life is, is, is insanity. It's absolutely I mean, insanity. The, the saving, the, the fact that his life is saved is, mm -hmm. is awesome. But I've just like, I'm putting myself in that position being stuck upside down and my body is like, can't move. Like I want to throw up thinking about mm -hmm. like, cause it's claustrophobia over. and shit. Like when you can't move, especially if you're upside down and like your limbs are mm -hmm. tied up. And the base of your snowboard is holding your feet, so you Oof. can't pull it down. I know, it's terrible. All right, let's move on. Oof. We'll move on before we Oof. both throw Oof. up. Oh, God. The internet is pretty wild. Depending on your browsing habits, you can either experience something super cool or go to prison. Crazy, right? Let's check it out together as a couple. Hey, look what I found. Yes, that's awesome. All right, Joe. Hey. Found something on Amazon. Will you show it to me right now? Yeah. Okay. Look at it. Look at it. Right that. here. Okay, I see it. Yeah. They're oh, little, nice. so they're little uh, finger protectors. <laughs> yeah. That, that snap on your fingers for when you eat like Cheetos or oh, Doritos or something like that. And I, and I thought, I was like, oh my God, this is so, I mean, it looks so cheesy and tacky. It does. Cheesy. We get it. But my kids love cheetos and doritos yeah. and they make a fucking mess yeah, they do. They, I, it's, it's all over them and then they're wiping all over their clothes then they're touching the walls they're touching the furniture they're touching <laughs> everything they're playing my xbox and they're fucking getting it all over controllers true and and then i look at these i'm like this might be one the of the savior yeah this could be like the best purchase i've ever made and i'm thinking about getting some my biggest concern is I mean, so these are little like rubber sleeves in a sense that go over just your fingertips mm -hmm. so that you can touch things that are, make your fingers messy and not get your fingers messy. I'm going to fucking lose these things, dude. Yeah. Like I put these on my kids' hands. Like if I let my kids just alone with a, a, a full size couch, like eventually they would lose it. Yeah. And they're like, Hey, where's the couch? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen it. Well, you just gotta you gotta buy a whole bunch of them. You gotta buy some air some air tags and track your little yeah yeah. You have like a whole <laughs> a whole basket just a, yeah. of just these little finger grips. It's like, kind of like the all things right, kids when you uh, when you corn on the cob the little oh, poker yeah. things. Yeah, you, there's a spot in your uh, silverware drawer for those, and they poke you. Yeah, they you, do. Yeah, if you're not careful, you gotta be a little ouch. So ouch. then you have a just a a whole little section just dedicated to the those little, in your to drawer the, to the finger covers. Yeah. I mean, they would work great with just, I mean, not even just chips, but like a taco mm. or something. But I mean, and healthier. You and know, going to be healthier. It's not going to get the germs on there. <laughs> healthier. Uh, <laughs> Unless you eat the rubber. That's true. You, you can know. choke on the rubber and die. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. I am a, I'm a left-handed eater with finger food. I don't like to get on my right. Mm -hmm. I don't like to use my right hand. Hmm. Yeah. So maybe this would maybe make me more ambidextrous because I wouldn't get food on my right hand. Switch it. You just said that, and I have no idea what hand I eat food with. I use my like a fork. I use with my right hand, but like chips Picking or finger food, it's my left hand. Hmm. I'm f yeah. I'm I'm silverware left hand, and then chips. I'd be right hand. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? That's weird. We're complete opposite. Crazy, bro. Dude, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. Can you imagine showing up to a party and you have these fingerless leather gloves on and, and these those. and the finger covers? That's not see. <laughs> and your and custom darts and a dartboard. Mm. Mm. All I do is fucking dart, dude. That's all I do is fucking eat dart and. Eat, eat Cheetos. Uh, All I do fuck. is eat charts and <laughs> eat darts this. and throw Cheetos. Eat charts and eat pussy. They're like, what? <laughs> Your shirt's all like, I don't, I'll just go. All right, let's imagine if you're like, if a vagina was like made a mess like <laughs> Ima Cheetos. Imagine if you just wore those while you're having sex with somebody. Mm. She goes, what the fuck? Like, I'm just trying to keep things clean. Sorry, I'm a germ freak. Yeah. She goes, okay. You're like, I thought you scanned my QR code. You would have known. <laughs> Imagine eating like a like a sucker or an ice cream cone, you know, or a, like a popsicle that mm -hmm. makes your mouth turn colors. Like, what if you had, wanted to have fun mm. and like you pour a little something in a vagina, Ooh. and then when, and then you come up and you've got like <laughs> rainbow, yeah, rainbow on your lips, <laughs> sparkles. Oh, you were eating some puss, weren't some you? glitter. <laughs> yeah, you want to hear from the kids? Yeah. All right, let's hear what you guys think. Really, you want to talk to me? Wow, that's cool. Inbox time! Ooh, ooh, ooh. This first one is coming in from our one of our, ki our kids, one of our children. 
but they want to remain anonymous. They've always mm. been this way since they were a baby. I remember. Like they were super they, duper silly goose though. Yeah, they would do stuff and they're like, ah, oh, but just, you know, I don't want you guys to mention my name. I'm like, okay. Mm. So he's always been this way. It says, hey, daddies, one of your loyal, super duper silly geese here. <laughs> But I want to remain anonymous. You got it. Because I like my job. <laughs> what <laughs> they say. And I know you can tell exactly who I am by the email. So no need to point that out. But I'm a stupid fuck. Right. I'm listening to episode 42. Urinal, horses, butter, paper cut. When Joe brought up the incident with your Jesus loving neighbors and the porn playing Bluetooth mm. speaker. Yeah. Just fucking. Yep. <laughs> That's a good the one. Classic. Classic, man. I'll tell my <laughs> grandkids about that one. Uh, reminded me of a recent business trip I went on. I work for a large international company and we recently bought our comp- out of our uh, bought out our competitor in, in your neck of the woods and Walla Walla to be exact. Ooh. When we buy out a competitor, we send in terms to retrain everyone. Teams. And, oh, teams to retrain everyone and welcome them on. This was one of those trips. One morning, on the second day of the trip, I got into the rental car with the head of the training team, who I just met the day before, so we could go on site. He starts the car, and I look down at the infotainment screen to see Bluetooth connected dash media colon stepsister takes it hard in the ass from step bro. <laughs> Don't tell mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> he then looks down at the screen sees me reading it <laughs> let's just say that was a very silent trip across the city how do you just not address it <laughs> ah. <laughs> and then i had six more days of working with him overall <laughs> we got skunk drunk on the company's dime and became pretty close friends but we never brought up the bluetooth incident it was just a silent secret <laughs> Thanks for all you guys do, and make sure you exit incognito mode after you're done rubbing one mm, out. Yep. Yeah, it's fucking so funny. That's hilarious because what's <laughs> what's funny is like, you know, he's like he could have been in the same thing, and you kind of just like, I see you. But that's the mm. thing about porn, yeah, and especially in this category, you can't judge someone. That's not what I was going to say. It, it's not even about what it's about. No. It's not even about step bro and stepsis. Mm. It's like, they're just, I guess, like the sex they're having. It's not even the situation that's like, this yeah. is what I want. Yeah. That's not what it is at all. Yeah. But for whatever reason, like 90% of porn videos are like, step bro fuck stepmom mm-hmm. while stepdad fucks stepsister. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell anybody. On the steps. <laughs> on the steps. On the, on the rocky steps. <laughs> the whole thing. Uh, yeah, whatever. Well, yeah, it's like the dad or the son leaves and then... The dad's like out mowing the lawn, mm-hmm. and she's like, "Oh yeah, Ugh. it's I don't know fucking in the pool." I don't. I mean, I, there's got to be a reason why everything's step related these days. But uh, yeah, I'm on the on the side that that's not necessarily what you're into. Yeah, so the like, video just had a hot chick in it, and that's the whole thing. Like if like if you know, my wife was to see like, oh, like you nine out of the ten videos you watched this week have it. It's like step family <laughs> like is that what you're into no i just like the girl that happens to be in these videos is just really hot yeah and then she got fucked pretty good yeah and that was that was it oh it, okay like promise do not yeah. fantasize about fucking my stepmom is it like can i <laughs> can i let myself go to that place where i actually believe these people are step related you <laughs> yeah, know what i mean yeah it's sure like, <laughs> can i get here yeah yeah nope. it was like because if that was the real thing then maybe that's what you're into but it's like yeah, right oh. i wonder how yeah wonder how much of that has actually happened out there um, oh, you want to read the next one? This one's wild. Oof. Do okay. It. All right. Carry on with the workplace accident theme we've been having a lot of fun with over the last month or so. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> uh, this was sent in by our son, Mickey, who writes, Hey, guys. Hello. Currently listening to Deaf Coyote Mexico Sick Burnouts. <laughs> <laughs> when you talked about the, the guy that had turned into a twisty tie and it reminded me of a workplace incident that happened. Oh, boy. I work in natural gas field. Like what your stove and furnace burn, uh, you know, burn heat, Mm -hmm. where things are very flammable. So we have tons of safety precautions. I can imagine. On this particular day, we had a section of underground pipe that sprung a leak and two guys were sent in to find the leak. Mm -hmm. They found it and decided to drive up next to the leak uh, in a side-by-side, RZR. It's open cab buggy without doors or windows. Mm -hmm. That was uh, venting gas into the air uh, at at an extremely alarming rate. And surprise, surprise, the entire atmosphere around them burst into flames. Jesus. Everything within 30-foot radius was burnt to a crisp, including the two guys in the vehicle drove to the location. They were rushed to the emergency room with third degree, only third degree. Is that mm-hmm. the highest you can go? I think that's the, that's the top. 
Uh, this seems like more of like an eighth degree. Should be more degrees. Third degree, more de- burned in ninety percent of their body. Seems Fuck. like that. Uh, seems like it should have been more too. Mm. To this day, I have no clue what happened to these guys, or if they survived because they were fired almost. A- <laughs> hey, <laughs> Mickey, you can't. I don't know if he was that intentional. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It was perfect. Fired almost instantly. <laughs> Oh, what a burn. He made up this what whole story burn. just to use just that to use line. The joke, like, yeah. man, they were instantly fired. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Almost immediately for not following company procedures on safety measures for a situation like this. So, yeah, the natural gas fuel is a dangerous place for dumb people. And I've uh, heard plenty more stories just like this. Fuck. Have a great rest of your day and don't play with gas. LOL. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah. I mean, honestly, though, when you think about it, <laughs> it's like. How easily stuff like that can How, happen. Yeah. Like the the whole thing about like the the grease and then throwing throwing water. Like Not when it. you think about it for a second, like, yeah, after the fact, that makes sense. But in the moment you're just this like, thing is you, hot. You, that thing is cold. Yeah. yeah. And so when you're driving up the thing, you're not thinking necessarily about gas. Like if you <laughs> Well, if, you're on a natural gas field. So yeah. there is that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Like you didn't just have just like wake up, black out, and you're at work in a side by side. That's true. <laughs> so but I'm not in that field, so I'm thinking about like just as an average civilian, yeah, not thinking about it. But uh, you're, I guess you're probably trained to not do that. You probably didn't pay attention. The same as the guy that got sucked yeah, through the, sucked through the, the airplane jet yeah. engine. Airplane Ooh. jet engine. Ooh. You're too don't close. Go, don't Ooh, go. Am I? Don't touch the butt. <laughs> Just it's gone. Bye. Um, then we'll wrap up the show. But I also have to think about these these poor gentlemen that were out there. Because <laughs> there was there was one last thing that they were talking about. Yeah. Before it, literally they thought the world exploded. Right? What did they say? <laughs> what was the last little thing? Talking about the baseball, Sports. baseball team, like all they need if they oh get God. a shortstop, then we're gonna, you know, <laughs> right? What if it was this? Like I don't know, man. At this point, I'm just kind of hoping I get fired. Is that mm, too far? Mm, no, <laughs> I keep showing up late, just hoping I'm gonna get fired. <sighs> How fast that would happen too? Just explosion, like a, just a massive. That was my watch. Um, just a massive fireball. Be terrifying. How did they? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I told her two fingers is totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> how did they survive that? Uh, he said he doesn't know if they did. Well, I mean, maybe they died later, but how did they survive? Just because all your skin gets burnt, but your organs are still working. You got to kind of slowly bleed out at that point. Not fun. All right, should we, should we move forward? Christ, yeah. <laughs> Before I come, hey. Uh, Getting turned on by yeah. the. Uh, Oh, a nice little, I forgot, uh, Mickey had a little funny callback on there. It said, sent from my iPhone. So that's funny. Uh, nice. If you get it, you get it. Uh, support us on Patreon. That's how you keep listening. Every single episode we do has bonus content on the back end. Boner content. Yeah. Thanks to everybody who has signed up. Just keeps growing and growing. Pick whatever tier is right for you. Patreon.com slash can you don't podcast. Of course, you got the socials, got the YouTube. You want to send something into the show. Hey, guys, at can you don't podcast.com. That includes petty beefs or anything for dick or any would you rather. Some crazy question. Doesn't matter. Send it in. And if you have a physical thing you want to send in you can find our po box in the episode description uh big thanks to the babysitters that run the playground page on facebook and gosh dang man there's a lot from today's show that um is gonna stick with me for a long yeah. time there's some fuck me i'm pumped this is probably one of my favorite episodes in in a lot quite of a bit shit. it's a lot of stuff i mean yeah it was dark that, yeah but that, that's fucking unfun that's the fun stuff baby i mean yeah yeah. yeah, baby. Yeah, it's like, yeah, baby. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I wonder what Tony Little's up to. I don't know. But a QR code above your dick that you scan it, it just goes, mm. yeah. That's how you That's how you win the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They're going to be so oh, wet every man. time. Just push. Good God. Wrap it up already, huh? Brian mm-hmm. with a Y. Yes, Joe with a OE. With an OE. I have a dad joke for you. Okay. What did the farmer say to his cows when they asked to stay up late? <laughs> I have no idea. Yes. <sighs> Sorry, not tonight. It's past your bedtime. Oh. <laughs>
It's pretty good. <laughs> That's so good. Pasture. <laughs> I've never heard it. Mm, I don't. I haven't either. Who sent it's it? Ah, it's another bedtime. one. Another one that that got sent to me, dude. Not tonight. It's past your bedtime. <laughs> Fuck off. God damn, it's amazing. Does that joke move you? Move. All right, kids. We'll see you next week for all the silly geese. Party continues. Love you. Yeah. Ya. Bye. Bye.